Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, who are only called God, and His only begotten Son, His name is Yahweh Shai. We are only called Jesus Christ, and that's in the Lashon Kadash, which is a Paleo Hebrew. All right. Uh, of course, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who were well, rightly dividing his truth and feeding the flock. And of course, I want to give peace and salutations to all the sincere Akim that's doing this work all right, on the highways and byways and doing the studio shows and just pushing his truth, all right, because we're at the end. All right, uh, I'm the brother of well from Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in Great Babylon, which is in America, all right, which is America, all right. Uh, this is another update about the whole situation that's going on between uh, the U.S. and uh, North Korea. All right. This is uh, from an article from RT News, which uh, I will uh, note when it was uh, published, uh, published on uh, September the 3rd, uh, 2017. All right. It's currently Monday in Great Babylon, uh, September the 4th. All right. Article states uh, in the headline US ready to use nuclear capabilities to defend itself and allies from North Korea. Trump. All right, so I'm going to read the article and it says the White House has warned that the US is ready to use the full range of capabilities at its disposal and might resort to using its nuclear arsenal against North Korea if it continues to threaten Washington or its allies. All right. And, uh, you know, the reason why, of course, uh, you know, America uh, is, uh, you know, in this whole outrage and such is because you have these uh, weaker nations that, of course, uh, are now become strong because they invested themselves in their militaries and now have capabilities uh with the which arms like it which arms them with the same capabilities as uh the america itself now america is uh you know on its way down uh because uh you know first of all yahweh shai is coming back all right and he's gonna uh bring forth the kingdom of the israelites or the negroes latinos and native americans all right set in order establishing the kingdom all right which none of these moabites all right so-called chinese all right they're moab all right in the bible um they ain't um they don't got a chance to be the next rulers all right because it's not uh, prophesied for them to be the next rulers, all right? It's been prophesied that, uh, you know, uh, the, the, let me see, I'm going to get that precept. Uh, the, uh, the end of this world is uh, Esau, and the beginning of it that follows is Jacob, all right? Uh, and that's in the Apocrypha, all right? I'm going uh, to get that, uh, 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 Lord willing, all right? But uh, I'm going to continue with this uh, article. It says, um, on Sunday, President Trump called Japanese, all right, which is the Japanese are Ammon, all right, Japanese uh, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe by telephone to reaffirm Washington's community, uh, Kasagi says, comments uh, to its allies in the region, okay? And, and in it, he said, it was said, uh, let me see, it says, President Trump reaffirmed the commitment of United States to defending our homeland territories and allies using the full range of diplomatic, conventional, and nuclear capabilities at our disposal. All right, so you know, um, you know, the U.S. They don't, they, you know, they, they, they willing to, you know, to knock blow this place out the off the face of the earth. All right, you know, because this, uh, you know, this devil. You know, uh, you know, they they just want to be on top and rule forever and such. All right. And which ultimately, you know, all these nuclear missiles are going to bring forth the destruction of Great Babylon. All right. Uh, which is America. But, you know, we just uh, going through the prophecies as it continues on. All right. These weaker nations are getting that capability and such and flexing. All right. Because this is nothing but flexing. It says uh, um, the White House said in this statement. All right. So, uh, this right here, it says, uh, the White House specifics, 
So our stock specifies nuclear capabilities as opposed to merely military capabilities. All right. In the readout of Trump's call with Abe. All right. So it's it's not just, uh, you know, just military capabilities. They want to go all the way with uh, nuclear all right, capabilities. All right. You know, you know. So it goes on, it says both leaders have condemned North Korea's nuclear testing and called uh, uh, Poy Poyagang or P P how you pronounce that? Uh, what is it? Poyagang <laughs> or whatever they want to pronounce it. Uh, yeah, Poyagang right. uh, behavior, de de destabilizing the and provocative actions all right which uh obviously you know north korea has been testing uh their uh missiles and such and you know it's uh started of course a uh up war with uh you know all of the nations all right um and you know it's uh pushing forth sanctions and such all right with uh you know countries that are you know uh possibly going to uh be uh left out all right of trade you know they're trying to stop that you know with uh, no uh north korea and such all right by putting pretensions on them and such uh but that's another thing so um um i'm gonna uh, finish up reading this article it says trump has also confirmed the, the two countries ironclad missile uh, defense co uh, commitments and pledge to continue close cooperation the statement read and you know it says north korea is a this is donald trump saying this in twitter north korea is a rogue nation which has become a great threat and embarrassment to china which is trying to help but with little success all right so um you know because north korea they just doing whatever they want really uh, so i'm going to uh bring out some precepts all right um first reset would be in and be second address first and second address i believe um this is second address 16 and i will start at uh let's see sloppy one second i can start right here at second edge of 16 and 13 it reads for strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow his arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world all right the arrows are of course um the, the icbms all right the nuclear missiles which uh you know uh the other day um north korea had tested uh hydrogen uh hydrogen bomb let me see uh i did a, a video on it uh that they tested it um the other day and uh you know the, the these 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 weapons are gonna bring forth the end of the world all right it says behold the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth okay you know the, 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 these missiles when they are shot you know they're gonna do its duty all right you're gonna bring forth the destruction of uh america great babylon all right you know north korea threatening to strike guam and all of that you know which is a u.s territory uh and such you know the u.s doesn't like that you know that's why you know they want to protect their allies and such and they fuel so to do so with nuclear missiles all right their own and it says um verse 15 the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consumed the foundations flop socket for not foundation of the earth like it as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward which you know it, it, you know it's once it the icbm gets shot our right, intercontinental ballistic missile once it gets shot it's not just gonna turn around it's gonna go and do its intended purpose all right which is bring forth destruction. The Yahab Hashem Yahweh All right. It says, even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. All right. And uh, you know, um, 
it just I'll end it out with this verse uh, verse 17 woe is me woe is me who will deliver me in those days and that's Edger saying that you know he's seeing the prophecies and stuff you're like man like yo like who's gonna deliver me you know what the, 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 the prophets of Yahweh Hashem Yashai they're gonna get delivered by the chariots all right those uh so-called UFOs that y'all uh you know classify um as UFOs you know so-called white man Esau Adawam um they, they, they classify the, the chariots, which are, you know, the UFOs, okay? But they are identified. Those are the way that we of the elect, hopeful elect, will be delivered, all right? Via that, those uh, chariots, which have the angels in them, all right? So, uh, I'm just going to get another precept. Salakia. Uh, this is uh, going to be, let me get it real quick. I'm looking through my sword right now. Let's get it. Let's see if I can get it, Slacky. So this is a preset right here. Second edge is six and let me see how it is. six and nine, but um this is uh second edge is six uh and six I'll start. Alright, it says uh then did I consider these things and they all were made through me alone and through none other by me also they shall be ended and by none other all right yahweh shimmy of shy of course created uh well yeah yahweh made yahweh shy create everything all right and the destruction will be brought forth all right through yahweh shy all right and it's angels and such all right uh you know so obviously since he began it you know, uh, you be created this. Of course, it's gonna be the reason why he has to be ended through him. He's the Alpha Omega. All right. Um, you know, the I and the Tha, as they would say. All right. It says then, or I would say actually, uh, or us Israelites in this thing. All right. It says then answered I and said, What shall be the part in asunder of the times, or when shall be the end? of the first in the beginning of it that followeth all right because uh you know this is this Edger, this prophet address he's acting like yo like you know what what is gonna be uh you know the, the coming you know the coming uh you know kingdom and such like well, what's the end of this time all right and he's gonna give the answer it says and he said unto me from abraham unto isaac when jacob and esau all right yaquab and i i saw uh were born of him Jacob or Yaquab, all right, which means supplanter, all right, because he supplanted uh, Esau of the, of his uh, uh, birthright and such, all right, and, and you know Isaac he gave the uh, blessing on to uh, Jacob, all right. Um, and it says Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, which that symbolizes uh, that we're gonna bring down the Israelites are gonna bring down, which is Jacob, all right. Jacob was the patriarch of the uh, 12 tribes of Israel, and of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? We one nation, all right? And we got the 12 tribes, all right? Which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And uh, we're going to pull down the so-called white man, which is Esau, all right? And bring forth the kingdom, all right? It says, for Esau is the end of the world, which Esau is... Uh, in power and rulership so he's of course the end of this world all right all oh, the uh adawam yeah all right the edomites all right they are in uh in, in in rulership right now and they're the end of this world all right 
and Jacob or Yaquab is the beginning of it that followeth. All right, you know. So, you know, this is this is it. You know, the, the, and it's not the Moabites that they don't have. Uh, you know, they're not going to be the next superpower. The Russians, you know, which are Edomites. All right, uh, they're not going to be the next superpower either. China, you know, uh, you know, obviously they're Moab. Uh, Japanese, you know, uh, Ammonites. None of these uh, other nations are going to be the uh, the um, next rulers. It's going to be us, the Israelites. All right. By Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. So, um, you know, uh, might want to hit something else. There's a lot. There's a lot that's going on. But uh, you know, Jake is simple, so I'm gonna keep it uh, very simple and short to the point. All right. Um, I might want it to hit like one of those. Uh, those words that I uh, was mentioned in the article. Uh, not so much articles on this man. It's, it's insane. But uh, you know, man, Slacky, Slacky for the uh, noise in the background. If there is any, I'll try to take it out with post. Mm. Yeah, so uh, the word I want to look up, a full range, all right? A full range of cap capability. So I just want to, <laughs> to uh, look up that word, just that's full in general, just to get a deeper, deeper understanding, all right? So full range, all right? And capabilities. Full. All right. All right. So full basically uh, goes at uh, full. It's an adjective. Old English full. All right. And uh, it means containing all that can be received. Okay. Um, going down to perfect, entire, utter. All right. So full range, entire, like so the. You know, you know the U.S. You know they 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 they're ready to, to you know you know do whatever they got to do, which is you know to to go to the to the to the to the top. You know, being that you know they 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 will use you know their greatest uh, military of capabilities of their military capabilities, meaning the ICBM. All right, they will you know drop a bomb. All right. Uh, uh, ICBM on North Korea, all right, and uh, that's been stated in you know some of the other articles that I have um, noted, and uh, um, these other articles here, uh, like say like uh, you know uh, Pentagon chief threats to U.S. allies will be met with massive military response, all right. And the response that it's gonna be is, uh, you know, uh, ICBMs, you know, uh, fire and fury. Uh, you know, it said, uh, you know, here, U.S. Uh, Defense Secretary Jim Mattis has warned that any attack of the United States or its allies, you know, because uh, 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 what's his name, Kim Jong Un, he did threaten to strike uh, Guam. All right, he shot a, a ICBM over uh, Japan. All right. You know he's testing all his missiles and getting ready all right for world war three you know and it says um it says the united states or its allies will be met with a massive military response after north korea said it conducted its six nuclear tests all right we have the ability to defend ourselves and our allies south korea and japan from attack okay in our co commitments to our allies are ironclad okay so you know let's even go into that that word right there ironclad all right um which you can't believe this devil but you know ironclad all right so it basically it's a uh, ironclad adjective 1852 of knights all right 
say 1861, all right, uh, iron and clad, all right, noun, figuratively, contracts, so it means very rigid or strict, allowing no evasion or escape, okay, from 1884, as a noun meaning ironclad ship, all right, so, you know, ironclad meaning very rigid and strict, okay, you know, so let's lock it one second. So many, so many windows. So much to say. So, you know, get really excited in this truth. You know, uh, so, so, you know, they're saying their commitments to their allies is, uh, you know, very rigid, and sh you know. All right. It's strict. All right. And it says, uh, Mathis said in a statement he read out to journalists outside the uh, White House, it says he said also any threat to the United States or territories, including Guam, or our allies will be met with a massive military response. Saying that again, repeating that again. All right. A response both effective and overwhelming. And that's ICBMs because, uh, you know, ICBMs is uh, very uh, overwhelming. It will, it will uh, radiation itself, you know, it's going to affect uh, that whole region and such. All right. You know, so it says, uh, you know, RT even here on Twitter it says, uh, Trump says, we'll see when X whether US will attack North Korea. You know, because this devil, you know, like he did Japan, here's you and what's that, here's you man, Nakazaki, all right, back in uh, World War II, even though they did surrender, you know, they just dropped it, uh, you know, dropped their, uh, you know, little boy and fat boy on them, all right. So you gotta watch out, uh, about this, uh, you know, with this devil, all right. You know, you can't 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 believe anything he says. And devil means deceiver. All right. So, uh, you know, uh, and obviously Satan means uh, uh, enemy or adversary. All right. Now, uh, you know, that's uh, basically it on this um, Akim. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to I want to keep you all updated all right, about what's going on. All right. So just stay up. Stay occupied in prophecies. Lord said, occupy until I come. So that's what we're doing. All right. Being of the hopeful elect. And with that, I'm going to say, call halal yim yahaba shem shai. And uh, shalom to all the sincere akim. Hua akwa. All right. The, women, the brothers and sisters out there that's trying to learn the truth. And, uh, you know, follow yahaba shem shai. All right. Shalom.